Hi, good morning to all the truth seekers and Mr. and Mrs. Conspiracies. But it's breakfast time. Let's just read a book. All right, books are cool. They have stories to tell and secrets to share. Why don't you get dressed, put on your underwear, get a bowl of cereal, a cup of tea, a biscuit, a donut. Nah, probably not good for you. You know, I'm waiting for you. Come on, let's read a story. Yeah, how about let's go to the library with DW. Anybody ready? Yeah. DW's library card. This book belongs to my children. Very long, not so long, kind of long time ago. Oh, and for Joanne Mitchell, a very special librarian. I love librarians. I always wanted to be one, sort of, but uh, soon. Copyright 2001 by Mark Brown. Thank you. Here we go. On Saturday, Arthur and D.W. went to the library. Will you check this book out for me? Asked D.W. I can check out baby books, Arthur said. It can go on my record. When I have my own library card, said D.W., I'll check out whatever I want. When can I get a library card? D.W. asked Ms. Turner. Oh, as soon as you can write your full name, Ms. Turner said. But I hardly ever say my full name, said D.W. How can I write it? I can write my full name, Bray Tommy Tibble. Me too, said Timmy Tibble, the red and blue hatted Boys from school. Yeah, see. At home, D.W. practiced writing her full name. Arthur came in to see how she was doing. Doba Minifred Rayabed. Who's that? He asked. Oh, It's okay. At dinner, D.W. asked mother and father, Why didn't you name me something easy like A? Mother looked at D.W.'s plate. Well, you're almost there, she said. Okay. You're almost there. Stay encouraging. It's all good. D.W. guessed. Quick! More mashed potatoes! After Father gave her another scoop, D.W. wrote, Read! I wrote my name! I wrote my name! D.W. shouted. See, like, she really did. Right? It's like in you. You can write anything you want. On Saturday, D.W. was ready to get her library card. Very nice, Dora Winifred Reed said Miss Turner. Here's your card. Hooray! Said D.W. Now I can check out my own book I want. She went to find the frog book. But it wasn't there. No. Oh, that book was just checked out, said Miss Turner. It should be back in a week. A whole week! D.W. said. 
Well, it might be back before then, Ms. Turner said. All week, DW checked to see if the book had been returned. No, it's not back yet. Sorry, DW, not yet. Not yet, DW. The next Saturday, DW was the first one at the library, but the frog book still wasn't there. We should call Auntie Sharon. She loves frogs. She could find the frog book. That was a squirrel. She waited and waited and waited. Moral of the story, pretty much, right? Anyways, Heidi W., said a voice. It was Tommy Tibble and his brother, Jamie, was holding the frog book. You two had it, said D.W., and you heard it. It's all wrinkly. It was like that when they checked it out, Ms. Turner said. It was an old book. We would never hurt a library book, said Jimmy. If you do. Tommy whispered, they take away your library card forever. <laughs> Miss Turner checked the book out on D.W.'s cutter. Here you go, she said, handing it to D.W. Take good care of it. Or else. The book looked so old. Could you imagine what would happen if she ruined it? She would never be able to check out books again? Oh my gosh. Oh, the big X. Let's see. Can I show you? At home, D.W. put the book in a safe place. Every day, she checked to make sure it was all right. On Saturday, D.W. carefully brought the book downstairs. Time to return this, she said. Finally. Why are you wearing oven mitts, asked Arthur. To keep it safe, said D.W. <laughs> Very conscientious. It won't explode, said Arthur. Did you like it? I didn't open it, said E.W. The Tibble said the library would take my card away if I hurt the book. It's old. It could fall apart any minute. Well, <laughs> said Arthur, if you're so worried, I'll open it. Hey, my name's in here. I checked this book out too. You checked out a baby book? Said D.W. It's not a baby book. It's a great book for little kids. Arthur began to read. See, look. Oh, I love Mr. Mason, lovely Layla, and Turek Tobias. Great. Anyways. Okay. We'll continue. When Arthur finished reading, D.W. sniffed sadly. It was a happy story, said Arthur. Didn't you like it? I loved it, said D.W. I'm sad that I have to return it. But you can check it out again, Arthur said. I can said D.W. It's called Renewing, explained Arthur. And they're all cuddled up in the big daddy chair. Look. Aww. <laughs> oh. Hooray! D. 
DW son. Then he can read it to me every day, twice a day. Once in the morning and once at night. Then I can renew it again and again and again. And again. And again. Because I love you. Good morning and good night. Wherever you are. Love, Tara.